Hello everyone and happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. I just finished doing my hair. Usually what I'll do is, well, what I like doing is I'll shower the day before and then I'll just blow dry my hair straight. So it's pretty much usually always like all the way straight. But then I won't curl it the same day. I'll just wait till the next day kind of letting it rest and then I'll just curl it with my straightener. And that's kind of what I did right now. And it usually will last like a couple days, like kind of wavy. Like, I don't put hairspray or anything because I really don't care to keep the curls how they are. It just kind of die down with the days. I don't think I'm going to do my makeup today because I don't feel like it. My lips are... I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Yeah, you can tend to see it. They are so dry. I don't know if I'm dehydrated or what the heck. So I'm going to try to focus on drinking more water today and taking care of my lips because they're destroyed. I don't know what happened this weekend. I still haven't started looking for jobs. <sighs> I don't want to, but I know I'm going to have to. I'm just really enjoying being at home, but I mean, who doesn't, right? <sighs> what else? Uh, but I think that's it. Yeah, just gonna try to do things around the house. Maybe go visit my friend. And then I don't think I need to do dinner because we have a frozen pizza that we want to try. It's like a deep dish frozen pizza that we bought. Where did we buy it? Mm, Safeway? Was it Safeway? No. Where were we? Sprouts? No. Oh, Costco. Costco. We bought it at Costco. So we want to try that. It's like a double pack of pizza, but the pizza seems ginormous. So we'll probably make one tonight for dinner. So All right. So I already started on the door because I forgot to record it. But this is what the current inside of my oven looks like. I know it is disgusting. I'm well aware. And if you guys will even be able to see. There you go so nasty the doors are covered i don't think i've ever fully cleaned this oven since we moved in <sighs> i know that's gross but you know what life happens so now i'm just scrubbing it um i sprayed the easy off no fume spray and i kind of let it sit for about two hours and then now i poured some of this to bring it on cleaner this stuff is so so good um oh it contains bleach i didn't know that and then I my brown so I don't get stained but I'm just kind of going at it with this thing and it's actually coming off like really really well but you just really have to like scrub it see I don't know if you guys can tell but it's definitely coming off so um this is the before and then I'll show you guys the after all right so this is the after oh my gosh this was so much work it was quite ridiculous i broke a sweat i'm so tired but i think i did pretty good is it perfect absolutely not but it came out i would say very clean compared to how i was before francisco had to help me on this side because my left hand is not strong so he was able to help me with that side but I think we did really good. Uh, I'm so happy. So ready to make something. So yeah, I think we did pretty good. These are the two products that I used to clean. This one is the one that I was saying that I left for like two hours. Just kind of soaking in. And then this one I brought in just to scrub everything. This thing takes off everything you put in front of it. It's so good. It does have bleach in it. And um, it does leave a little bit of a residue. But it's so, so good. So those are the two things I used to clean. And I think we did good. What do you guys think? Tell me below. <sighs> okay, so I just got this package from Thai Market. It just arrived and I wanted to share with you guys what I ordered. Where is the camera? Over here. What I ordered. show you 
this first. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this thing here, and this is the plant-based superfood spreaded organic granola, and it's a cocoa crunch. This is what it looks like right here. So this, the ingredients are sprouted buckwheat groats, uh, dates, sprouted sunflower seeds, sprouted sesame seeds, coconut, hemp seeds, cacao, vanilla extras, and sea salt. So I think this is going to be a really nice granola to add to my yogurt. Um, actually, I'm going to open it right now. It smells interesting. I don't know how to feel about this. It tastes like granola. Hmm. You wanna try this? Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not that great. <laughs> Alright. So that's that. Where are you going? Go this way. All right, and then I order these three spices right here. I got just regular paprika, and then I got smoked paprika, and then I got some basil. I am not sure exactly on the difference between regular paprika and smoked paprika. I think smoked paprika has like a deeper flavor, I guess. The color is definitely different. The regular paprika is a bit darker than the smoked paprika. So we'll see if it makes a difference as far as like, you know, taste and dishes. <clears throat> Ooh, these I'm excited about. So these here are called, what are they called? Shiitake, shiitake noodles. And I got the fettuccine ones. I wish you could see them. Can you see them? No. And these are gluten-free wonder noodles. And this is what it looks like right here. I've seen a lot of people talking about these, so I figured I would order two and try them out. Then, I also got this Birch Benders Pancake and Waffle Mix. This is a chocolate chip keto kind. And this brand has very um, healthy pancake mix or waffle mix. But I've heard uh, from Bobby from Flav City. He likes the keto one, but he said that the chocolate flavor is really good too. And I haven't tried the chocolate chip flavor, so I'm excited to try this to see if it's going to be any good. This one I'm excited about. I ordered the, what's the brand? One Degree Organic Foods, maybe? I don't know. It's called the All Ingredients from Farmers We Know. Gluten-free sprouted quick oats. And this, like I said, it's organic. This is what it looks like right here. Um, so I really like that it was organic, um, because Francisco likes eating oatmeal a lot. And the one that we have right now, it's not organic and it's not sprouted. And sprouted is supposed to be a lot healthier for your stomach to digest. And organic, of course, that means that it wasn't sprayed with, uh, pet pesticides and all that. So it'll be a lot cleaner. Then I also ordered this other one right here, this other oatmeal. And this is the Purely Elizabeth Green Free Granola. And this is the vanilla almond butter flavor. And the ingredients are in this are organic pumping, pumpkin seeds, organic sunflower seeds, cashews, organic coconut sugar, almonds, organic coconut flakes, almond butter, organic medium chain triglyceride, oil from coconuts, organic chia seeds, organic cinnamon, sea salt, and vanilla extract. So super healthy again. Let's try it. Hmm, this one smells really nice. Hmm. Okay. This one is a lot yummier than this one. Oh wow. This is really good. The car reminds me of this brand right here from Costco. The, um, sorry. Um, the Autumn's Gold. 
brand. It's really similar, but it's a lot cheaper. You wanna try this one? It works the same. No, this one's better. Oh yeah, that one's a lot better. Do you good, huh? Yeah. They have a ton of different flavors, so we can try the other flavors. This one has the. Um, it's made with MCT oil too. Not bad. Mmm. Okay, this one I'm excited about. The other one was kind of. Mm. Yeah, that one was too bland. Okay, so apparently, I got some samples. I didn't even know they were gonna come with samples. Let's see what they are. So it came with bon Bonami Powder Cleanser. No harsh chemicals. America's original non-scratching cleanser. Ooh, this would have been nice for the oven. <laughs> this one right here. So it came with two of those. Ooh, the Wellada Skin Food Original Ultra Rich Cream. That's pretty cool. And then the Cure Brightening Facial Scrub. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wonder why they sent me all those free things. I don't know. Not complaining. Okay, then I also ordered these. Got two of these. And these are the Thrive Market Organic Oat Non-Dairy Beverage. And I'm assuming this is going to be like milk, but... For some reason, I cannot find anywhere oat milk that is organic, which is really weird. Um, so I wanted to try this one out. It's actually pretty decently priced. Um, and the ingredients is just water and organic oats. So it's super clean. And I'm excited to see because, like I said, it's pretty cheap. Um, what's happening over there? And it says that you're... It's good for smoothies, coffee and tea, baked goods, cereal, rice pudding, and all that stuff. So this is what it looks like right there. And then I ordered these. Oh, I thought they were going to be bigger. These are the... Nella, stop it. The Thrive Market Avocado Oil Potato. Do you hear her? That's her. Really? Potato chips in Smoky Barbecue. So I ordered two of these. I think they were like two for five or something. And they're kind of small. They're like, um, probably enough for like two portions because we like eating chips. These are 4.2 ounces. Look at her. I think the paper is like getting on her nerves. And the ingredients on these are potatoes, avocado oil, barbecue seasoning, which consists of tapioca solids, coconut sugar, sea salt, onion powder, tomato powder, paprika, garlic powder, Natural smoke flavor, natural extractives of paprika, citric acid, and spices. So, we'll have to try those. And then from the same, um, oh, and they're kettle cooked. And then from the same Thrive Market brand, the avocado oil potato chips. But I got the sea salt vinegar. And these ones have a bit less ingredients. So, it's uh, potatoes, avocado oil, sea salt, and vinegar seasoning. Um, sea salt... And yeah, why does this so twice? I don't know. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. You wanna try them, babe? Wow, these, ooh, these smell very vinegary. Right, that means they're gonna be that. very delicious. Let's see. Mmm. Okay, I'm excited about these. These and the granola made my box. Mm -hmm. huh. it smells good. <laughs> it tastes like regular potato chips. Right? Yeah. No, they are potato chips, but I mean like they're made with all healthy ingredients instead of like all the other crap that you see in other ones. Like if you look at the ingredients, you can actually understand everything in it. And it's made with avocado oil and they're kettle cooked. That's not bad. You like, like regular uh, barbecue chips. They do, right? Yeah. So I bought two of these and two of the vinegar. Where's the vinegar one? You want to try it? 
They're very vinegary. They're good though. They're good as vinegar chips. It tastes just like the other ones too. Right? Vinegar. Yeah, the, um, the kettle cooked, right? Yeah. I think that's what the brand is. <clears throat> those are pretty vinegary though. I'm excited though. All right, so those are all the products. The for sure. Huh? Well, the vinegar it tastes good. You just don't like vinegar, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, big thumbs up on the chips. Um, I don't know. If, I think they have regular sea salt. Mm, I don't know if they have any other flavors, so I'll have to try those out too. Like I said, the bag is not like super big as you guys can see, but it's full about halfway. So I feel like, I feel like this will be enough for like two times. I don't know. We'll see. Also, the serving is pretty good. About 15 chips. Oh, it says four servings per container. Yeah, right. But yeah, I think this box was definitely a winner. Um, except for this granola. I don't know how I feel about this granola. Maybe I'll just mix it in with this one just so it doesn't go to waste. Maybe. I don't know. But this one I really like. So I'm probably going to look to see what other flavors they have. Um... Oh, dang, it has uh, five grams of protein, the granola. That's not bad. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited to see how the rest of the things taste, but this is a winner. Also, the box before, we were going to do a mukbang. I don't know if it's going to happen anymore, so we might just end up trying things during the week, and I'll just, you know, show you guys what we think. This is what we're going to have for dinner. This is the pizza that we got from Costco the other day. Frozen pizza, of course. Good morning everyone, today is Tuesday and it is laundry day. Um, I did a quick makeup just cause I felt like it. I used the Maybelline uh, Fit Me concealer, then I put some Fit Me powder on my brows. I used some of the Balm eyebrow powder, I've been really liking it because it like darkens my eyebrows, but it doesn't make them look all harsh. I really need to plug them, but I don't know if I want to because I like the bushy, but maybe I should just pluck like, ooh, is it going to focus? Maybe pluck like the bottom just to make them a little cleaner. What do you guys think? And then I put in a little bit of the L'Oreal bronzer, the big giant one. And then on my eyes, I have the new Natasha Denona bronze palette. Look how beautiful that is. I have literally just three shades and it just looks so beautiful. I really like it. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go do laundry. current situation looks like this is where i keep i usually just have like a target bag maybe i should buy like a cute bag but then if it gets dirty i can always wash it maybe i should do that when i look to see if amazon has any cute um detergent baggies never thought about that but anyways these are our laundry bags so usually those are full with darks and lights and then this is our sheets towels and all that which i'll end up dividing between these and the machines but <sighs> Yeah, and then <clears throat> taking my little um, whatever bag. I forget what this is called. Bag? Uh, yeah, tote bag that my sister got me with my wallet, some headphones, a book, and then my keys. Francisco went to get the car, so that's what I'm going to take to the laundromat. I don't want to take my purse, that one, just because I don't need all this stuff. I just want something super, you know, easy. Oh. 
Are you so sleepy? Oh, is mommy making so much noise? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try the Siete Cashew Queso. Mild nacho. Is there anything even in here? Very little. Very little. Oh yeah, there is. With some very little Siete grain free tortilla chips. And open them. We got to come try it too. It smells like queso. So this is what the inside looks like. You have to like shake it or stir it or anything. Mm. Mm. Use within seven days of opening. Heat in saucepan hey, or in microwave. Doing? Safe dish. Oh, so you're supposed to heat it up. I'm gonna use for this. Mmm! Uh... Wow! Oh, that's what I do with this. That's that tastes already, like queso. The, the color's already a little weird. Well, who cares? No, they look bad. similar hmm. pretty similar but it doesn't taste like no it's i mean it's impossible for it to cheese. taste the same but it's pretty close pretty close right yeah i mean considering this has aftertaste though okay it does have like cashew aftertaste yes but <clears throat> considering this is, has absolutely no dairy yeah that's, true. that's pretty impressive right mm -hmm. so for dinner today whoo, we're gonna have some hard shell i don't know if that's what you're calling but anyways taco shells and they're the Thrive Market brand. Francisco is heating up some beans. They're the Sprouts Organic Refried Pinto Beans. And I really like this because it's literally just beans, water, and sea salt. So they're super healthy. And then I'm going to chop up some tomatoes. My sister brought some lettuce from her job. Um, we, have, oh dear. we have some jalapenos that our neighbor gave us that we might die from because I think they're going to be spicy. We have some of the cashew. What are you saying? Huh? I said those are courtesy of the neighbor. Oh, are you being my um, commentator? Yeah. Then we have some of the cashew queso. This is what the tortillas look like. Pretty interesting. So I'm going to lay them all out. Really? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to season the taco meat with this from Siete. You're supposed to add a little bit of water, I guess, to make it more creamy. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. Are you excited to have grain-free tacos? Grain-free? Yeah, they're grain-free. They're the same as this. I'm starting to become a... What did you tell me to try? A little uh, scared of all these new products. Why? You like these chips? Yeah, so far a lot of them have It's been the good, same but... thing then. All right, guys, so change of plans. The taco shells were stale. Francisco over here, he jinxed it. So we ended up pulling out my current, one of my favorites, uh, current chips right now. They're the Simply Organic Tostito Blue Corn. And these are actually pretty good. They only have uh, organic blue corn, expeller pressed sunflower oil. I wish I had avocado oil, but it doesn't. And sea salt. But I've been really enjoying these just purely for when I make nachos um, for, like, just snacking and uh, just snacking. I usually just have the Simply, no, the Siete uh, brand. But for nachos, because we use so much of it, I prefer buying this one. Um, the Siete is a lot healthier, but this one's cheaper, so. Huh. But yeah. All right, guys, so this is going to be dinner for today. So I'm going to link the recipe below. But this is Alfredo sauce that I saw Alana Rama, Alana Davidson. She posted about it. And it's Alfredo sauce, but it's made with beans, garlic. Uh, they're northern beans, garlic, um, peppers, and all that stuff. And it actually tastes really similar to Alfredo. Alfredo. It's not Alfredo, obviously, but it's like a healthy Alfredo. So if you been wanting healthy alfredo i'll link it below because this is actually very delicious what do you think you liked it right yeah 
I, I would say that it's pretty uh, comparable, but it's not identical. It's pretty exciting. And then I made some chicken and uh, some pasta, and then I have a side salad to go with it. So yeah, I'm excited. Hello everyone, and happy Friday. It is two o'clock right now, and well, he's wearing his mask. <laughs> I wear your mask. Just in case. Just in case. Uh, and Francisco, why do I look so white compared to you? Look at that. Look at the angle. There you go. <laughs> yeah, um, and Francisco got out of work early today, so apparently his uh. So his new company was bought out by another company, or his new no, company, no, his company yeah, my was- company was bought out by a new company. By a new company, there you go. And so um, it's all like a new world, so they're still transitioning into the new company and all that good stuff. But I guess one of the things that they do, he just found out today, is that on summer, they call them summer Fridays, right? Fix the seat. They call them Summer Fridays, right? Yeah, Summer Fridays. Summer Fridays, and they get out early, so that's pretty cool. So, um, he got out at one, so about an hour ago. And then we had a smoothie for lunch, and now he wants to go check out TJ Maxx. Hopefully, we're hoping it's not extremely full. I've heard that it was when it first opened, but it's been already a week or two since they've been open. Maybe three weeks, I don't know. So, we're hoping that it won't be that bad, but we'll find out right now. Um, I made a list of things that I I'm just looking for a belt. Yeah, so we'll see what we find. Also, right now I'm wearing the ColourPop new foundation. It's the, um, what's it called? The Pretty Fresh, but it's the foundation, not the moisturizing. And actually, it looks really nice. There we go. I think that's more accurate in my color. I don't know what was happening back there. Now I look normal. I looked like a ghost back there. But anyways, it looks really pretty. I think this stupid phone does like a filter when I do like selfie recording. But I don't know if you guys can tell. It just looks really pretty. I really like it. I thought it was going to be too light of a foundation, but I think it matches the rest of my body, right? That my face matches my so. body, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was going to be too light because yesterday I tried it on on my neck and it looked really light, but today I put it on like an actual um, makeup. The coverage is really nice. It feels light. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, so we'll see how it wears throughout the day. I usually get oily like on my nose like super fast so it's already getting oily which it's normal hello everyone and happy saturday it's the first time i checked in today because i am the best vlogger there is um, here with my sister. Um, we just got done shopping for a few things right over there from Whole Foods that I had in my cart for Amazon. And we were down the street, so we decided to come back. And now we're gonna each have a pizza slice with some orange juice um, and their little patio. And there's no one here, so it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have this and then move on with our day. I don't know. Oh, we still need to go to Sprouts, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so just wanted to check in and say hello. Francisco is um, helping his sister move, so he's not with us, obviously. But um, yeah, just wanted to pop in and say hello. And that's it. Hello, everyone. It is 5:22, and I wanted to show you guys the makeup, how it's been holding up in the outside right now. Don't pay attention to my nose. My nose always gets oily. That's like the only oily part I have in my face. But it looks so well. Keep in mind right now it's like 93 degrees and it looks so pretty. I really like how it looks. It looks so like dewy and glowy, but it's not like sticky. Leave my stuff alone. It's not like sticky at all, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it looks so pretty. I really like how this foundation is. I think it was like a really good foundation. I can see myself wearing it a lot. But anyways. Um, right now, oh my gosh, my purse is stuck everywhere. Right now, Francisco wants to do a fast food week on our food Instagram. Um, that now he took over. But, um, what am I going to say? Oh, wow, well, you can see your mess over there. Oh, yeah. So, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm so, like, scatterhead. This heat is not letting me think. Okay, so right now, we're going to go to In-N-Out. Because so far, which fishes do you have? The fast food? 
Jack in the Box and Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah, so we only have Jack in the Box and Wendy's, so we're gonna try to get two or three more, right? That's the goal. At least two, yeah. Um, since Mr. Shorts at Taco Bell, I was like, it doesn't have to be just burgers. We can always just get Taco Bell, and that counts, right? Yeah. So, anyways. Grilled cheese. Yeah, he wants to do the their new grilled. Did you hear? He wants to do the grilled cheese burrito. What's on? Ah, okay. So one of these days. Anyway, so right now <clears throat> we're gonna go to In and Out. Oh, it's not connected to the Bluetooth. Oh. We're gonna go to In and Out, get some burgers there. I don't really I'm like sure their French you. fries. Just the one here, no? Come in or the other one? Oh, do you think we'll be less busy? Try the other one. Just try this one. If not, we'll go to that one. So we're going to do in and out and then we're going to get McDonald's. He wants to get burgers from there, but I do not like their burgers. So I'm just going to get french fries because their french fries are my life. And what else? Oh my gosh, my hair. And then I think that's it, right? Yeah. Oh. All right, so we're home now. Ended up getting a double double, and then I got a French fries from McDonald's because this is the best combination ever. And then Francisco has a disaster of burgers on his plate with burgers and then I mean French fries. And my sister just got in and out. So now we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our evening and eat delicious food. <laughs> <laughs> 